Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Gary and today we're in the Wichita Mountains exploring the Boulderfield Trail. All right, good morning everyone. Today I'm going back to a place that I've been before, but I didn't really explore it like I wanted to. Uh, it's the Boulderfields. I'm gonna go down that valley. And then I'm gonna come up another valley that I've never been to. The Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge encompasses 60,000 acres of scenic landscape in the far southwestern corner of Oklahoma. It is from this area that islands of granite peaks rise from the Great Prairie Sea. Okay, just made the turn that leads me into the boulder fields. We got the sun just coming up over the mountain over there. So far, so good. I think I caught a glimpse of the pear and the apple. There they are, right there. The pear and the apple are massive granite boulders perched upon the edge of Elk Mountain. On a previous video, we explored this area above the boulder field and discovered Elk Mountain's ancient and rugged beauty. There's something about being between canyon walls before the sun gets high. There's not a whole lot of people out yet. It's really peaceful. It feels like we're headed into the canyon proper now. And it uh, looks like our first oh, portion here. That was an easy climb. We're starting to descend now. Oh yeah, we're gonna come out here in a little bit. We can get a good view. And there they are. That's where I was yesterday. They look, they're, they look big from down here, but from up there, those things are massive. So I see some passageways down through there. Uh, I may try to get down there and check it out. This is truly otherworldly. It may not be caves, but wow. It's really awesome. Let's see what else we can draw into. Oh yeah. There's just all kind of passageways here. Man, there's a big one down there. Let's get up here on top and see what's going on. That is crazy. My stuff is way back there in that hole. So I'm gonna have to go back and get it. It keeps on going down. So, know your skill level, you know, bring the right stuff and uh, just explore. Just uh, don't go beyond your capability. It's like a boulder cathedral. Rocks just stacked upon rocks. There is life in this boulder too. We've got a full grown tree right here starting to see some green out this passageway here. So I think I may hit the trail. All right, that was really cool. We just gotta go up the side of this bluff here and find the trail. Yeah, right here's the trail. Now finding that boulder passageway is well worth coming back. I had not been in that one. Uh, I've been the ones almost at the bottom still. So. Yeah, really cool to find that one and know that now it goes out where I was yesterday, just relaxing. There's an arch right there. Headed down another little side path. Don't know if I've been in this one. Uh, yes, I have been in this one. Still, a really cool place. This area is cool. It's got a pretty significant little drop off though. Pretty sure I could get back out by stacking some rocks. All right, I didn't expect to find this. It's a little bat colony. Look at that. There are hundreds of bats in that little swarm. Yeah, we won't be going that way. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's get out of here. This looks like our exit point. But yeah, that was pretty cool. 
even though you've been some of these places before that uh, bat ball was unexpected so yeah always go check out places you've been before after saying that we're gonna check this one out real quick because it is pretty cool and it's right off the trail and the main feature of this one is this sucker right here huge boulder maybe like an atlas boulder coming down and with that the boulder field is done we're gonna head out this way and i think we're gonna round this cliff here and uh go to the other side which i haven't been to before like a trail that goes up to this valley here that i have not explored yet all right slight change of plans i've decided to go up that one valley it's just too good to pass up i've got a lot of time still today i'm gonna go check and see where it goes i think this is mount lincoln up here i don't know how far i'm gonna go up this way looks like we're gonna run up against a wall of rock here before too long i've got a little gps marker that says uh bear cave may be off that way i can't believe this is here i would not have found this without coordinates yeah, because it's not anywhere that you would think it would be. It's in between this little valley here. Yeah, I want to thank Gold Wild History for coordinates to this place. This is a definitely choose your own adventure type hike. I have a choice here. I can rock scramble up this, or I can take this little valley and see if I can get up on top of this ridge. I'm following an old elk or deer path. Yeah, I'm just trying to get up to the saddle here. We made it up on top of this uh, little ridge and I think that is Mount Lincoln actually. I thought it was this but I think that is now. That is a little bit further than I want to go and my water supply is. What I'm going to do is turn back around and I'm going to go around towards that little cliff there and we're going to go in behind it where those trees are. I am back where I need to be. This here is where we're going to go back around. That way is the boulder field. This canyon is a lot earlier than the other one. After saying that, we are out in the open now. Really neat how the scenery just changes. We've hit the main trail that will take us back to the parking area. I filmed the rest of this trail in the Crab Eyes videos. As I make my way back to the parking area, my thoughts return to the boulder field and how it was formed. I imagine huge boulders such as a pear and apple rolling down from the side of Elk Mountain. I also imagine the horrendous noise of the sound clashes with canyon wall as the boulder comes to its resting place. These mountains of the Wichita are truly a unique and wonderful place to explore and I hope to come back to this area soon.